unbelievable the Montreal Canadian beat the Edmonton Oilers at Edmonton by a score of what coach? Yes, 5-2. to two. Unbelievable game, a second period, three review goals, just so much fun to watch last night. If you are a Montreal Canadian fan, you said, what the heck's going on? Where they, where they have been the first 44 game, 45 game? They just play, it's another team. It's like we have an American League team for 44 games. Now we have a National Hockey League team. Martin St. Louis is now 8-4 in the first 12 games in NHL. And the Montreal Canadiens with, again, another great performance of Nick Suzuki, a match of three points. And the Montreal win the third of the four game on the road. So just fun to watch, to be honest with you. But don't go nowhere. I'm going to give you all the information you need to know what happening between the Bleu Blanc Rouge and the Edmonton Oilers. But you know what's coming? Yes, look, look. Yes, 35 subscribers to get 4,000. Please share. Tell to others, and of course, click on the likes. And finally, tell me what you think about the Montreal Canadiens right now and about this game between the Blue Blanc Rouge and the Edmonton Oilers. Let's dive in, talking about the game. Of course, we go here. You know what's coming, the first one we do. We talk about the score sheet of the game. And uh, yesterday, Montreal, uh, the first period was a team where both teams was a little bit really quiet. They was just play under really a match where they, they wait for the opportunities. And we have to wait until 10.58, we see a goal. But before that, we have maybe one great opportunity, Montembeau make a big save, and Mike Smith make also an, a, a great save. Otherwise, it was really quiet until Cole Caulfield scored his eighth of the season. No assisted, a turnover by the defenseman, the rookie defenseman for the Oilers. Took advantage of this, uh, set up properly a quick release, and Mike Smith couldn't do anything, could beat on, under the blocker. And Mont and Cole Caulfield gave uh, um, the lead to Montreal. This is a seven game, a seven goal under Martin Saint Louis, uh, since he's the coach. So Caulfield again continues, uh, since is under Martin Saint Louis. Uh, but the Edmonton tied the game right away, 22 second letter. Uh, Evan Doug Kane scored his eight uh, of the season. Leon Trussell got an assist. At that situation, Trussell battled for the puck uh, behind, the, behind the, the goal line and he found a way uh, to pass the puck to Kane. Kane looked like a wrap up. Montembeau was not, gonna, uh, not, not fast enough to stop the puck. Uh, just go beside uh, the post as his pad and tie the game that way. And then at the end of the period, uh, during a power play, we know Montreal struggles in the beginning uh, under Martin Saint Louis. Uh, they don't score a lot of goal, and uh, but that time Gallagher snap his 15 game with no goal and score his fifth of the season. Nixky got his first point of the three, and Whiteman had an assist. And at the end of the period, 1921, the Montreal take the lead 2-1, but. Guys, at the end, the period, at the horn, Leon Tresadol, Tresadol got steal by a diving of Montembo uh, to stop the puck with the glove where Tresadol cannot believe it. And that way, the Montreal Canadiens take the lead by one at the end of the first 20 minutes of the game by a score of 2-1. The shots during the first period, it was Montreal Canadiens 9 and the Edmonton Oilers stand. We have only one penalty, and the Montreal took advantage of the, that power play uh, to um, again to be one and one. So in the second period, uh, it's, you can see the Edmonton pick it up a little bit more, and you have to wait until 5:37. Rand McLeod scored his sixth of the season, an assist of Iman and even Bouchard. A um, little bit confusing on the defensive zone, but we have to give credit for McLeod to score that goal. After Iman hit goaltender Montembo, and 
Do we have a, a challenge by the Montreal Canadian at that moment? And uh, the reason they gave the goal, it looked like Clag got a push, Iman, on the direction of the Montembo, and Iman don't have enough time to stop and hit Montembo, and Montembo cannot come back to make the save on the McLeod shot. And um, so at that moment, right there, Montreal come back, uh, gave a penalty down right now on the power play. This is the first power play for the Edmonton of the game. And Montreal resists and did not give a goal. So 2-2 after 5-37. Then now Edmonton get a, a penalty and take Montreal for the second time of the night, 2-2. Two and two, And they score. This time, Nick Ski, a wrist shot on the left side of Mike Smith, beat the goaltender. And Whiteman, second assist of the night. And Caulfield got second point of the night also. I take the lead um, to Montreal 3-2. But before that, the goal, Nick Ski score. But he have an offside at the blue line when Ski crossed the blue line before the puck. And he was tried to come in with the puck, but the puck did not follow him. And he catch up the puck just when he skate crossed the line. And he have an offside. It was this low, this goal. But Ski again <laughs> repeat and does the same thing and score. And uh, it was almost the same shot, by the way. Then for the rest of the period, another power play, two more power play, honestly, uh, during that game, uh, during that, the end of the second part of the second period, uh, for the Edmonton Oilers, they did not take advantage. One, it was uh, uh, only a 30 second, and then the other one was a full two minute. Montebo make a couple of saves. But the power play of um, other the fact they, had, they hit the post, the power play was good, but not good enough to score a lot of bad pass for the Edmonton Oilers. But you can see the power play, the, the, the best second of the, the, the NHL, the puck movement, the trash saddle, and the McDavid, uh, how they control the puck is amazing with Nurse. But uh, Montreal took advantage of that one over there. Then at the end of the period, the only time Montreal was on the power play, Darnell Nurse skate with the puck and lose the puck at the blue line. Joel Armia... Stop the puck, push the puck to Dauphin, was already inside the blue line. Pick up the puck on breakaway, score in the 5 old, and take the lead 4-2. Again, another review, and now at that time, Dauphin was an offside. What happening, like Nurse lose the puck, and the puck crossed the, puck, the line, and the Nurse was on. Amia push the puck in, it was like maybe one inches, but Dauphin, um, it was already inside the zone. My point here is like Dauphin should realize uh, to come back at the blue line and recover the puck and don't take a chance. Whatever, it was not sure ever outside. So I know it's an, a, a big IQ there, but the smart players should know that right away. But uh, again, we have to give credit, credit for Dauphin. I scored, but there was not in so 3-2 after four, uh, the 40 minutes, they have a three power play for Edmonton and two power play for Edmonton at that time. They have zero goal. And then Montreal score on the unique uh, power play. And uh, that's the way they take the lead 3-2. The shot was 10-10 after, uh, for during the second period. During the third period, same thing. Edmonton pushed a little bit. They got a power play at the beginning of the third period. Did not score. And Montreal resists on the, 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 that power play. And then at 10 15, uh, it's ring another power play for the Edmonton, the fourth of the night. Uh, after really kind of score and short and dead, uh, it was his 11th of the season. Brett Kulak and Nick Ski got an assist on that one over there at 10 15, and Montreal take the lead by two. And uh, for the rest of the game, um, Montreal controlled the puck. They really played the puck management very well, win a lot of battle. And we have to wait until at 16 11, uh, Edmonton had removed the goaltender. And Mike Hoffman, uh, after a great pass of Gallagher at the blue line, passed to Hoffman and on breakaway, honestly. And he shoot the puck and empty net and gave his 11th goal of the season. Uh, Sheriff got an assist on that one. And that way was the end of the game uh, by a score of 5 2 for the Montreal Canadian. The shots are in the third period, 9 Montreal. 10 for Oilers, uh, Montreal have two power plays during that period, 
and they uh, did not score. Edmonton have won and did not score also. So uh, that's conclude the score sheet. And then we have to talk now about the, of course, the three star of the game. The third star, Cole Caulfield, uh, one goal, one assist for the Montreal Canadiens in the consist to produce uh, under the Martin St. Louis head coach. Uh, Zach Hyman, have a good, maybe the best player for that team, got the second star, star of the game. Have uh, one assist, but he was very involved and um, during the game. And finally, of course, Nick Suzuki, the first star of the game, one goal, two assists. Uh, great, again, performance. Suzuki, this will give him six points in the last two games. I have also three points uh, uh, against Calgary last game. The next thing I want to talk about, of course, you know that, is the by stat, by number, what happening? The Montreal 5-2, the shot 30-29 for Edmonton. The, the face-off, 58-42 advantage uh, Edmonton. The power play special team, not a lot. It does not happen a lot. But Montreal win that uh, category because they have two goals and four, and they are 0-4 for the Edmonton. The hit was 29-24 advantage Montreal. Eight minute penalty for both teams. You have 23 gave away versus 16 for Edmonton. And finally, nine black shot Montreal and six for the Edmonton. They have a six friend uh, players with one point for Edmonton last night. They have Emma King shot six times on the Mountain Bow also. The TOI 25 58, Daniel Nurse, and finally, Smith have a safe percentage of 859. Only block uh, 24 of the 29 he faced. And also remember, he gave two goals. It was uh, Dizalo. So a bad night for Mike Smith. For the Montreal Canadian, Nick Suzuki with three points, one goal, two assists. Uh, Caulfield with two points, but also shot the most puck on the Smith with three. The two are Romanov, guys. A great game yesterday for the Montreal, 23-21. And finally, Montembeau have a safe percentage of 9-9 and 3, stop 28 of the 30 shot he faced yesterday. Frenchie Connor. Let's start. Uh, first of all, Montreal went 5 2 last night. Uh, secondly, this is a 7 W in the last eight games. So Montreal consists to perform 7 3 0 in the last 10 games. Uh, unbelievable. Zuski last night, three point. Caulfield and Gallagher have a uh, two point. And Whiteman, I forgot, also two point. Montebo. Uh, same percentage, 9-3-3. Three, three. We know we have a difficult time in Winnipeg. Uh, he got removed. But again, another great performance of Montembeau. And he did the same thing last Saturday against Toronto. So Montreal and Montembeau was solid between the pipe for Martin St. Louis. Uh, for me, last night, the special team. The momentum of the special team uh, last night changed everything. Montreal um, scored for the third time uh, back to back to back in the game, a uh, power play goal. They have one and six, one and six, and last night they have two and four. And prior to that, guys, they have one and 29 uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Just gave you an idea, they were struggle a lot. Uh, finally, for the second game, uh, they did not give any goal on, on Sean and Dud, and they are 0 7 the last two games. So for me, the special team played a big role in the game against Edmonton uh, last night for sure. Uh, crazy second game. What are you talking about? First of all, Edmonton won to score the second goal of the game to tie the game. They have a challenge for the Montreal Canadiens. And finally, after uh, Ayman makes some obstruction or interference, Montembeau, the NHL review in Toronto decide to allow the goal because they think Glag pushed a lot or enough um, Ayman on the Montembeau and uh, it's the problem, and that's the reason they gave the goal for McLeod, and that's the way they tied the game. Then Zuski scored a goal on power play, and there was Dizalo because he created an offside by himself. He crossed the blue line before the puck uh, was already in the zone, and that gave them the first Dizalo goal for the Montreal Canadiens because what? It's the second period again. For the third time, we have another review call because Dufay score on, on the short and third after a mistake of Nurse, and then the initial uh, disallowed the goal because Dufay was already in the, in the zone after the Armia pushed the puck in the zone, cannot keep the puck in the zone, 
and that's gave another disallow goal for the Montreal Canadiens. So during this third period, the three review of the of the from the NHL, all three was again the Montreal Canadiens. So crazy second period to be honest with you. Uh, and during that game, a lot of character for the second for the second time, um, the well, the, for the third time, but also for the second time in the last three game, uh, Montreal came back after the uh, the tied game, or they was trailed by a couple of goals. That showed me a lot of character for the Montreal. Send the out under Martin Saint Louis. I feel like that team they believe they can come back at any moment. Uh, during the game. That's how they show to me for the last couple of games and more than they are under Martin St. Louis. And we have to give credit for the, each player inside that team. They play like a team uh, all the time. They play with effort. Uh, the work and sick is great. Uh, the way they, they win the battle, like the my neck, uh, my neck, uh, my neck uh, statement about that. They battle a lot and they win the battle. Puck return ball. And it's always difficult for opponent team. You have always a Montreal jersey in their face. And that's the style they played during the playoff last season. And they paid the evidence right now for the Montreal Canadiens. So I like what they play as a team. For me, at the third period, after they take the lead 3-2 at the end of the second period, uh, I see a team play really with the time clock. It's called the time management and the puck management. What are you talking about? But they was not gave away the puck all the time. I see for the many for many games, I see Montreal does not love the puck a lot yesterday. They was really management the puck. They were wait for the puck before they re they release the puck and they dump the puck at the right time. And you can see a better smart team with the puck position, time management with the puck, and the time management with the clock. And that's the reason for me. They, um, they really played strong at the last 10 minutes of the game. At 4-2, Edmonton did not do a lot. Uh, they don't have a lot of opportunities, I'll be honest with you. I uh, have to give credit for the team. For me, the fourth, the fourth star of the game, you know I like to do this, uh, for me is, um, excuse me, Laurent Dauphin have an amazing, great performance yesterday as a second center for the, for the Montreal. Please solid on both ways. Uh, he showed how kind of player he is with his working sick. And without Jake Evans, he played a solid game um, for the Montreal Canadiens, uh, for sure. Uh, the Oilers are not the same. What are you talking about? I don't know. Last night, I see a team was not compete enough or compete with heart, uh, with passion. I understand what Tressel R is and also McDavid. But they was not, I don't know, maybe a team was fatigued. Uh, they, they was on the road for many games prior to that game, come back home. and uh, But again, like David said after the game, it's not an excuse. But I see a lack of the uh, of the competition uh, from the Oilers last night. Of course, uh, after Max Strom, I have a same percentage of 8 5 9 against Montreal. Now it was Mike Smith last night. Again, also same percentage, 8 5 9. I gave five goals of the 29th shot he faced yesterday. And also, he gave two more goals, but he was not a low. Uh, imagine that. So, Montreal scored seven goals last night, honestly, um, for me. Some people saw they beat the ref. No, uh, that's not true uh, about that. I'm not uh, I'm not sold on that one over there. And the Montreal beat only the Oilers last night. Uh, so, guys, this is uh, one more game to go for the Montreal Canadiens now on the trip of five game. They are 3-1 Zero now for the first four of the five game. They're going to play only Wednesday next week against Vancouver. So they're going to have a, a couple of day, a couple of days off. They're going to bond in the team and they bring back from Montreal Drouin, Devorak. I mean, unbelievable. They bring him back in Edmondson, flew in Vancouver to have that kind of team bonding. This is all about Martin Saint Louis. And also, I want to get, give you an influence what Martin Saint Louis does for the Montreal Canadian. Look, at the last 12 game, they are eight and four under Martin Saint Louis as a winning percentage of six five zero. But look, the player what they look like. Carfield now sixteen point and twelve game, eight goal. Anderson fourteen point. Suzuki sixteen point and twelve game. He has ten assists, six goal. Likonen. 
Full gold, five assists, nine point. Chariot, seven point now. Eight point because I forgot to change it. Hoffman, same way. Eight point, four gold, four assists. P3, seven point. Pitnik, six point. So, guys, many players under Martin Saint Louis step up the game. You can see by the, the offensive how this works. It's unbelievable what the Montreal are doing right now. Let's conclude, guys, another post game. You have to tell me what you think about the Montreal Canadian performance right now. Unbelievable. They win the last seven of the last eight games. And like I mentioned, AW under Martin St. Louis and 12 games. They are really, really, really cannot recognize that team, to be honest with you. But before we leave, we invite you. Don't forget to click on the likes. Give me your comments. And finally, sharing this video with other people. That'd be really appreciated. But you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing blessing day, everybody. I look forward for the next video with the Hockey Coach Guru, Coach Frenchie.